I think I need to learn to not think because every time I do think I start feeling depressed and I was feeling really happy when I was listening when I found that Mickey Freak song I think she looks absolutely amazing in it and yeah she looks much better in that kind of light although I think I would have been probably offend, very offended if she was doing that in the past but yeah I feel like though the fact that she can do something like that shows that I'm probably happier now than I, I ever have been um, and um, well I, it, it does show that and then I was just starting to think am I and then I, I don't know what kind of thought came into my head, but a whole lot of them came in and I started feeling depressed again. But I think I need to, to talk about them just because I think in like reality, if I was to name like angels, like as a human, if it was my choice, I would probably have stupid angel names such as you know, Angel of Misery, because I feel like I've been living in misery for the last 10 years. So um, I would I would have probably gone with angel of misery and angel of nightmares and angel of I, I don't think you could have done that is as like I don't think my higher self would have agreed on that because the whole point of this whatever's about to happen is to get people to suck be sucked in and think that either I'm harmless or think that um that I'm good and I, I want people to believe that I'm good but at the same time i think it would be so funny if there was an angel of misery and an angel of nightmares and just a bunch of insulting things like that um because that that um angel of many names it, it's a bit strange because when I first went through her songs I I, I remember not being I was offended very much so by that one where she's in the castle because I was suff suffering and and I saw that and I was like that's a total insult to me and what I'm going through night and day and and i didn't like her for that but then later i saw a whole bunch of like, kind of like evil ones where she's going i'm so icy and whatever i don't know a break me or something there's one about her being broken up into pieces and, and one it seemed to all be about hate and stuff um and i i kind of then wasn't offended at all because it was less like when she wakes up to the fact that you know there's truth in a lot of these songs and she's the thing is that there were two insulting that i couldn't be insulted so um i wasn't insulted by those ones. just just the first one um but yeah i just I'm, i keep thinking about her for some reason and i feel like even though i felt like she just represents loads of negative things it's actually quite funny because because she represents a whole bunch of negative things and a whole bunch of different things and she also kind of proves that songs like with all the characters i've named the character and that that title does fit in with all the songs maybe there's an exception or two i, I don't really know because i haven't actually done too much too much research but it fits in with the, the songs that i've seen um so yeah it would be interesting if that if if you were to create fake fake and fake, fake angels but give them stupid names like angel of ice or um angel of i don't know what the insulting ones are that or angel of midnight and and then just make it about like, like that there was the one that was I, I thought i heard the words angel of midnight and i thought she looked quite quite pretty and everything and then i was, I was thinking of, of putting that name and then when i went to go see what other songs there was i realized there's actually two that i liked and usually i think there has to be at least three for me to, to like the person so the fact that there's only two was a bit of a warning um and and then um and i i also noticed that there was kind of like I don't know there was a tone to it that didn't sound how it should be and i don't know just i'm think i'm overthinking and overthinking is good because i can fantasize about things and i like fantasizing about things but yeah the problem is when i start overthinking i do start like th wanting to create things like angel of misery or angel of nightmares what other ones are there you've got angel of death but you could i don't know because i've already kind of made one but I don't even know how it's going to play out. Like, I don't think the angels should be mentioned. Like, I don't think I should say that their names because the proof that I have power is in the fact that I've named all these angels and they kind of do fit in with the thing. But I don't want people to think that I have power. I want people to know that I have the same. Power. I want them to know what I knew, basically. So when I first woke up, okay, but maybe a little bit more than the first, you know, it was a very slow wake up and it took me probably about a year or two for me to see a whole bunch of stuff but i want to know i want them to see enough for them to 
believe and enough for them to have a chance to, to see me as a nice person as well. I think that's, I, I want them to see me as, I, I, am I a nice person now? <laughs> I don't even know if I am a nice person now, that's how bad it is. Um, am I a nice person? Um, I don't know. Um, I want them to see me as someone who's, I'm going to be honest and say that I'm very pissed off and I've had a very shit past and I'm very angry. And I, I, um, I don't know. I don't even know if I can pretend to be a nice person because I, I just, I'm that angry, but, um, I, um, I don't know. I, I don't care. Is the, I think is the, is the real answer. I don't care how people see me. I don't care what they think. Um, I want to anger them and I feel like angering them would be the best way to, um, to, uh, to get them to want to fight back and I want them to fight back because I want them I want to see how bad they can be because right now I've just seen bad 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 and I think if I was to see extremely bad then it would make whatever I've gone through in the past seem not that bad hence would make me not feel my past was that bad because I'm like well at least it was it's like I watch EastEnders because it's it's just like basic people going through way worse things than me and I actually feel so much better watching it because I see all the problems that they've gone through and I can be like well at least I haven't gone through that at least I haven't gone through that and I feel like that's how I feel right now like I, I secretly my life hasn't been that bad like because I haven't lost lots of people and I haven't what has, else happens on EastEnders I haven't gone through some weird bar fights um and I don't know, just all the stuff that happened on there, at least I can say most of that hasn't really happened. Okay, I, I do have the weird experience, like today I was just, I was picking through songs and I was, I was liking the Freak, I listened to it a few times, and I think I was in the middle of the song, I just randomly clicked because I saw Rue Boy and I was like, okay, I want to try that one. Um, and then it just, there was like a four second delay before it stopped, and then the last thing I heard was, was, was Glow. And then I was listening to this song and I had that glow word just stuck in my head that Nikki said. And, and then I was like, you know, what, I'm going to post it with that word. And then after I listened to that song, I looked back and, and then saw Beyonce with the song Blow. And I was like, oh, I just changed it. And because I was talking about Nikki being like, I, she could it, it be like God and I'd be the mother of God because I'm like made her and stuff. I mean, it's technically a bit of a deception, but because I'm like, she's not really a God, but. She looks like a god in, in in that video i think so i i think it's 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 nice um and um yeah so i don't know but and then usher's got a freak song as well which also ties in with the freak nikki i don't know what's going on and to be honest i don't even know if you're still on earth for all i know you could actually be in the other realm you might not actually be people on earth and you know that's still a possibility because i i don't I've never met any of you and I I don't really know where you are or are you living in the other realm right now? I don't know. And and then there's all these strange possibilities that there is a, a one thought that's it's a really annoying thought and always makes me feel depressed, which is that I'm just going from planet to planet, taking all my souls with me. And each time it just gets worse and worse because each time I have more souls to take the next planet. I mean, that's that's a, a really horrible thought because it means that I'm going to go through whatever I've gone through again. And I just I don't I don't believe that. You know, I think usually the tribulation is two or three years for me. That is, and then it's followed by two or three years for the world. I think that's that's standard. And I I want to go back to that. I want I literally do just want to blow this planet up and then redo it on a on that kind of level that kind of scale and, and just pretend that this one never happened because the fact that this one's happened has, has made me worried that maybe it's going to happen again in the future and i i never ever want to go through a 10-year tribulation ever ever again and, and i don't know can, can you guarantee that i i'm never going to go through this ever again like if if i live for another 70 timelines can you guarantee that i'm never going to go through this again i don't know i, mean, I just i don't know I'm pretty sure your souls are all from Earth and they all were dinosaurs, but I don't know because no one's saying anything to me and I, no one is giving me answers. I have to rely on my trust and instinct and my the answer to that question or the, the, the answer I think gives it is that freedom song, you know, when, when they say we'll tell everyone where we're from, you know, it suddenly flicked to a picture of Earth and it, it indicates that that you know these singers or angels are actually from a they're not from a different planet and i think there's lots of there's a few things that, that suggest that 
but my my higher self seems to be tricking me every single day and and and, and getting me to like people that I have no clue about who they are and that so I, I just I don't know it's like I'm constantly seeking answers I'm constantly seeking so many answers that I can't remember what the questions are because I, I start forgetting everything and it's just when you're analyzing a million things you, you can't remember everything and so like I can't remember anything but I, I do remember it it's just it's really really complicated um and and yeah and um I'm I'm wondering though if Justin needs a, an actual angel name because if he represents someone that technically is like an invisible man I don't necessarily know what that means um but at the same time I don't think he is the an angel of the invisible man I mean that doesn't sound that great or anything does it I I just I don't know um if, if that is a title I don't know but um yeah um I I definitely think though um Mel C is the angel of guidance or travel and I've heard that actually quite a few times it's really strange though when when I'm hearing things like in the past I, I would often hear things that I'm saying now like that when I went that word you know she won't pick up the trash when I was years ago when I was trying to hear something I was listening to a voice and I, I couldn't work out where that voice was coming from and, and when when I said that about Nick about Ariana it's it, it's like a memory like that thought that I had was actually being heard by me earlier only I didn't know what I was listening to I thought I was listening to the singer was it my future self or I, I don't know it's just it's really really complex complicated and it's really really hard when um when you don't really know the answers and you do but you, you feel like you need constant reassurance that that a certain answer is is the truth because I hate saying things unless I'm certain that it's the truth um and yeah I I kind of feel like I'm, I'm in the stage where I no longer care I just want to just end it and, and so that's why I was doing the names and just coming to writing the first things that came to my head it was only after when I started thinking about it it was like the angel of four yeah that is what came to my head and that that is what he is but if he's the angel of four why am I like always blanking him out all the time and, and then I realized well that's actually where my depression comes from hence why I always hear depression when I see him because it always makes me think and I don't know I need to stop thinking I really need to stop thinking um although that could actually be what the plan is I'm going to go on to big brother and say about how I'm god and how I'm much happier when I'm not thinking and come off a bit like an idiot by saying that but at the same time it's it's actually um it's actually quite a thought, smart thing to say when thinking drives you insane and gets you um depressed